Hello, recently, the United States has decided to initiate and construct the most expensive embassy of the US and also the most expensive embassy of all countries. It is being built in Vietnam with a cost of $1.2 billion. This is clearly not a simple matter, it carries a lot of important significance. Let's explore more about it in this video. Speaking of embassies, the largest U.S. embassy in the world is located in the Iraqi capital Baghdad. Located on 42 hectares of land, this is also the largest embassy in the world, and about five times larger than the U.S. embassy in Yerevan, which is the second largest U.S. diplomatic facility abroad. The embassy complex in Baghdad cost up to $750 million to build. The second largest U.S. embassy in the world is in the Armenian capital Yerevan. Completed in 2005, this project is located on an area of nearly 90,000 square meters. The third largest U.S. embassy in the world is in Beijing, China. The eight-story building is located on 46,000 square meters, with a total cost of 434 million U.S. dollars. As for the most expensive U.S. embassy ever built, it was constructed in London, UK, with a cost of $1 billion. As we can see, with a construction investment of up to $1.2 billion U.S. dollars, the embassy that the U.S. is building in Vietnam will become the most expensive embassy in the world. 200 million U.S. dollars larger than the U.K. court, more than 500 million U.S.D. compared to the hole in Baghdad, especially worth nearly three times more than the U.S. embassy in China. In terms of area, the embassy in Vietnam ranks only fourth with an area of 32,000 square meters. This embassy compound will have a design inspired by Ha Long Bay. The landscape of the complex will be inspired by traditional agriculture and rice production, such as the terrain of the Mekong Delta and the Red River Delta of Vietnam. In addition, the majority of the embassy will be built with recycled materials designed to save energy and reduce the risk of flooding from major storms. Why did the U.S. invest in building the most valuable embassy in Vietnam? Speaking about the relationship between the two sides, U.S. Vice President Kamala said that Southeast Asia in general and Vietnam in particular are of special importance and significance for the U.S. The fact that the U.S. has signed a land lease agreement to build a new embassy in Hanoi for up to 99 years is evidence of the U.S.'s long-term commitment to the cooperative relationship with Vietnam. In addition, deciphering the investment in building an embassy worth $1.2 billion US dollars in Vietnam, Ambassador Pham Quang Vinh, former Deputy Minister of Foreign Affairs, former Ambassador Extraordinary and Plenipotentiary of Vietnam to the US, said, when a country decides to invest in building an embassy, it is not just a building. The embassy demonstrates how important Vietnam is to America's cooperation with the region and with Vietnam. To have a relationship of two countries' stature and regional position, the U.S. must prioritize foreign policy and invest heavily here. In terms of the economy, according to Forbes statistics, Vietnam and the U.S. are increasingly having a close and important trade relationship. Among U.S. partners, bilateral trade between the U.S. and Vietnam is growing the fastest. As of 2021, Vietnam's six-month bilateral trade with the U.S. has increased by 50% compared to the same period two years ago. Vietnam's trade surplus to the U.S. in the first six months of the year ranked third after China and Mexico. According to a report by the Ministry of Industry and Trade of Vietnam, the U.S. is Vietnam's largest export market with a total value of nearly 45.1 billion U.S. dollars. This has proved the importance of Vietnam in the U.S. trade promotion strategy. Ambassador Pham Quang Vinh also pointed out three reasons why the U.S. is building the most valuable embassy compared to other U.S. embassies built around the world. First of all, the relationship between the two countries, both bilaterally and regionally, proves that the U.S. needs to have an apparatus, including a larger building, enough to carry out the more important task because the momentum the two countries have created. Secondly, it is definitely necessary to commit to a long-term cooperation with Vietnam, as well as the region, to have this event. Third, this is a story of cooperation to remove procedural difficulties, reciprocity and mutual advantages between the two countries. Upon hearing this news, many Vietnamese people were very excited and believed that this event marked a significant milestone in Vietnam's relationship with the U.S. The fact that the U.S. is building the world's most expensive embassy in Vietnam not only shows Vietnam's important position with the U.S., but also makes it the most special country in comparison to other Southeast Asian countries. In addition, the U.S.'s allied countries will also evaluate Vietnam's significant influence from this event. According to the U.S. Secretary of State, 
The project will create jobs for 1,800 local workers and contribute about $350 million to Vietnam's economy during the approximately six years of construction. What about Vietnam's side? How is Vietnam's embassy in the U.S.? Recently, Vietnam has spent $23.7 million, equivalent to over 500 billion VND, to purchase land to build the embassy headquarters. The new headquarters of the Vietnamese embassy in the U.S. will be located at 3330 Garfield Street in the capital Washington, D.C. This building was formerly the headquarters of the Belgian embassy, and it was purchased by the Vietnamese Ministry of Foreign Affairs from Belgium. However, to complete the project and put the headquarters into use, the ownership of the property must be transferred to the U.S. Department of State. After that, the U.S. Department of State signed a lease agreement with the Vietnamese Ministry of Foreign Affairs for a nominal fee of one U.S. dollar. The lease term is 99 years. To use this new headquarters, according to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Vietnam will have to pay for expenses including security monitoring, connecting with the Diplomatic Security Bureau, property insurance, cleaning fees, internet and cable TV services, and many other expenses, with a total of approximately $10,300 per month. Overall, with this embassy, we can see that the relationship between Vietnam and the U.S. is getting better and better. The past should not be forgotten, but we need to strive for a harmonious spirit to develop together and achieve peace in the future. Thank you for watching the video, please leave your comments and subscribe now to never miss a video and let's learn together, see you again.